Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Sharing from Scripture, Hebrews chapter 12, starting at verse 12, ending at verse 15. This is going kind of deep, y'all. So if you can't swim, you better put your life jacket on because you're going to need it. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way. But let it rather be healed. Follow peace with all men, and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. That right there, Pat's two cents, that right there is a mouthful. That is seriously a mouthful. I want you to hear this. Mm -hmm. What we don't realize When it says, lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees, there is brokenness in us. Brokenness in our flesh, brokenness in our psyche, brokenness in our emotions. And we limp, literally limp through life. Now, we have to make a conscious effort to regulate how we deal with our woundedness. Many of us have been hurt deeply down through the years from childhood up. Now, when it says, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, and but let it rather be healed. If you are lame, if you can barely walk, if you can barely carry yourself, if you can barely navigate through the, as they call, vicissitudes of life, then you're going to have a lot of trouble. And when you have a lot of trouble, you you find yourself making bad matters worse. And you don't realize what a mess you're making out of everything because you're so busy reacting and flinching and hurting. And, and, and oh my goodness, it just gets really, really damaging. So God would rather that we be healed. Only he can do that. Okay, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Listen, when we follow peace, when we pursue peace and we shy away from arguments and confrontation and, and uh, 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 tit for tat and payback and all of that, <laughs> We eliminate a lot of unnecessary problems. But when we give in to that, and you offended me, I'm going to jack you up. You stab me in my back, I'm going to get you back. I, and it just gets worse and worse. And we all go down together. Instead of resisting that lameness that's in our heart, resisting the oversensitivity, the areas where we get so easily offended and hurt. But no, we're reactionary. Ah, ah, no, no. I mean, we're really tripping. And we're bringing everybody down with us. Everybody in our close vicinity. Now listen. Looking diligently. Now some people, wait, wait, let me go back. When it says, without which no man shall see the Lord. Do you know how many people say, hey. This is the way I am. God just has to understand. You know, this is me. Just being real. Sometimes being real is not the right that you think you have. Because being real can take you real far away from God. So when you're being real, be real with you, be real with God, but ask God to help you. Not be so true to your realness. So that your realness doesn't make life blow up in your face. Because of the way you deal with it. With your real self. 
I hope you got that one. Listen, back to the word. Verse 15, looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. You know, that is our trouble. The root of bitterness. Roots everywhere. My mother didn't want me. My father didn't want me. I don't know where my parents are. Um, I got molested when I was eight. I got raped when I was 12. I got this. I got beaten down. I hate other people of other races. They stole my money from me. He never paid me back. She uh, took my... Uh, she took my pocketbook when I wasn't looking. She lied on me. Uh, he, he took my woman. I mean, it just... <laughs> he left me with this baby. She had that baby to trap me. I mean... Think about how you think. You're blaming everybody else and everything else in life. But you're not taking any responsibility for the choices you've made. Oh, mama just didn't like him. No, maybe mama didn't like him because he's beating you upside the head every other day. Oh, my father's just a snob. He doesn't want me to have anybody. You know, he's lonely. He broke up with mama, so he, he don't want me to have nobody. You know, misery loves company. Well, guess what? Maybe your father can see through the nonsense you're hanging out with. Maybe he can see the good-for-nothing joker for what he really is. But no, you're going to ignore pops, separate yourself from pops, solid relationship so that you can hang out with this poop butt who means you no good, using you to the max mistreating you to the hilt and you're too dumb diddy dum dum to get it because he's well hung and he's cute and that's all he's got going for him we live our lives then you end up pregnant or with AIDS or with with uh, herpes or whatever it is they got out there you got to live with that too you got to deal with that choice you made now you're angry. You're bitter. He left you for another woman. You're bitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Screw him. Oh, my goodness. And all this bitterness and all the... Men ain't about nothing. I hate men. You're just like your daddy. <laughs> Come on now. Think about it. Think about it. You don't talk to your father anymore. Because if your father had stayed out of it, you and your man would have still been together. Right. Your father's looking out for you. But you don't talk to him. You don't have him to talk to. Now you have nobody. But your mess. <sighs> Bitterness. And everybody around you is being defiled through your anger through your spite through your venom they're being poisoned they're being hurt because hurting people hurt people something to think about isn't it this subject is so deep i could spend six hours talking about scenario after scenario and we would just be touching the tip of the iceberg. So I want you to go to God and ask God to help you make the paths for your feet straight to heal that which is lame so that you don't go astray and just ruin your life altogether. That God would heal you and then you follow peace and holiness with all men. Holiness. Because without that baby, you ain't never going to see the Lord. Much as you think you believe in Jesus. Looking diligently, 
lest any man fail of the grace, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many, let me add others, many be defiled. Is that the way you want to go down? Or would you rather be healed? Go to God. That's where your healing is. Through Jesus Christ, that's what all them scars in his back were for. He wasn't just there to forgive us for sin. He was there to heal what ailed us. Everything that ailed us, crippled us, paralyzed us, boiled us over. He's there to heal all of that. Remove the anger, remove the rage, and remove the pain. God bless you.